Right guys, we're gonna do a spawn to substrate our bulk video. I'm just spraying everything down with isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Got my gloves on. I've already sprayed the inside of this mono tub or shoe box down. You can see. I put a bin liner in it as well. Can you see that? That's already been sprayed down as well. I've got some fully pasteurized CVG mix. And I've got a bag of colonized brown rice. So we're just going to go straight into this, just making sure the angle's right. Uh, first things first, I'm going to just sip in about 80% of this into the shoebox. Leave a bit out to keep, just put the lid on. Just always conscious of contamination, although whilst doing this, depending on how well the bag is colonised, it should be hard, I'm just going to move that to the side and then let's just open this bag and see what's going on in here. Let's have a look, as you can see. It's fully colonized. And then if you smell it, be careful not, if it's contaminated, be careful not to smell it or inhale. Uh, just, you should get an earthy sort of mushroom style whiff, that typical mycele mycelium smell. If you've done this before, you'll know what it smells like. And literally all we're gonna do, is just gonna slide it into the CVG mix. Looking at this, there is a few bits in there that, that haven't been colonised, you can see that. Um, it's actually a good thing because it's so difficult to break up this when it's fully colonised. Now the key is just really getting your fingers in. Uh, don't forget I did spray my gloves before I started. Um, we're going, oops, we're right in and literally trying to break all the grains up back to a singular grain whilst mixing. I like mixing at the same time because you can rub it off and you can rub the mycelium into the CVG mix. And this is real time, we don't edit videos on this channel. I'm doing this actually with my top off. I don't like fabrics, I don't like carpets, anything like that. Um, easy to contaminate or easier, like the dust particles of fabrics aren't good for my ecology. I've not got a mask on, but I'm breathing through my nose. There we go. Still not happy with that. Just gotta, the finer I get it, the better it is. Now we have saved about 10% of the mix, just simply to add a, a nice little casing layer. The reason I do that, I mean, everyone will have their opinion on this, but I think it just encourages really good, thick mycelium growth. I mean, it's fine if you don't add a casing layer, but I just think if you do, you don't prematurely fruit, which I've done in the past, and I'm thinking it's nice, it's looking all white, but the longer you leave it, till it starts actually pinning, the better I find. Um, so there's a bit of psychology behind the casing layer as well, of it uh, helping hydration and getting a nice, I'm not pushing that down yet. Right, I'm happy with that mix. And I'm just gonna literally have the casing layer. 
Now we're probably thinking what ratio we're we using here. This is around about a four to one. So one spawn, four substrate. And um, also the liner inside really important because over time the cake inside will dehydrate and we want the liner to follow it in because it re retains moisture. So I've done loads before without a liner but with a liner is definitely the way to go. Also stop side pinning. I don't know if you can see on the box, I've also got some tape around the bottom. This box has been used before. Like I say, fully sprayed with alcohol. And that is it. We're gonna seal it. And go straight into the heat room. And that is my version of Spawn to bulk substrate. Hope you enjoy. Much love.